The Chamber of Industry and Commerce Tobago Division said it is tired of hearing apologies from those responsible for fixing the sea bridge problems in Trinidad and Tobago. This as Tobagonians continue to bear the brunt of an unreliable passenger and cargo ferry service between both islands. According to Chairman of the Tobago Division, some hardware businesses are out of certain supplies and the supermarket owners are fearful their stockroom might soon be empty. Patricia Nicholson has the details. Chairman Demi John Crookshank said Tobagonians are experiencing hardships because of unreliable passenger ferry and an inefficient cargo ferry service. He said the current situation where both passenger ferries are experiencing mechanical issues is something they brought to the fore many months ago. Mr. Crookshank said the current regime is bent on doing things their way and so he's calling for an urgent meeting with the chairman of the Port Authority Board to find quick solutions to the problems. So we are calling on the new chairman to meet with us urgently. Uh, we did pen a letter and sent out a letter requesting an urgent meeting to meet with, with her and her team as soon as possible to see if we can solve this problem once and for all. President of the Inter-Island Truckers and the Traders Association, Horace Amid, said they're tired of hearing apologies from those responsible for fixing the problems. We met with the minister on Monday and we met with the port board on Friday. They were supposed to call us to let us know that if a vessel was found, yes or no, we saw it in the papers. And to begin with, we thought that was disrespectful. Because up to now, we have not received a call from them. <coughs> and apart from that, they said that they were going to meet in Tobago by, on Wednesday with the stakeholders to bring us up to date on what is happening. Up to now, again, we are just seeing things in the papers. And the president of the Tobago Hotel and the Tourism Association, Chris James, said the tourism sector is being adversely affected by the Seabridge challenges. He said July-August is the busiest period for hoteliers, but they are being faced with numerous booking cancellations. Truckers, for instance, have to go through what they're going through, uh, but also our customers that want to come on vacation here uh, having a, a serious challenge and I heard stories of people 14 hours to get to Tobago yesterday. So on top of that we have cancellations, last minute cancellations, so hotels are suffering from that, uh, keeping rooms and then finding out they've got last minute cancellations because of either air or sea bridge. This he said is contributing to the further decline of arrivals to the destination. They're hoping that after meeting with the Port Authority Board a better solution can be found. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News. Head of the Inter-Island Transport Committee of the Tobago Chamber, Diane Haddad, says she is disappointed in Chief Secretary Kelvin Charles' address to Tobagonians. Mr. Charles made his maiden televised address to Tobago on Wednesday night, in which he apologized for the Seabridge problems being experienced over a month now, and he assured plans were afoot to resolve the issues. Speaking specifically to his comments about the Seabridge matter, Ms. Haddad said his statement was vague and colons and semicolons and it therefore says nothing. Ms. Haddad said he's not standing up for Tobagonians as he promised he would. There's this role in this and I'm not sure why but in our meetings with him when he came into office he did assure us that he was a no-nonsense person and that his mission was to ensure that Tobago and Tobagonians benefited in the best way under his leadership. I don't see this as an example of um, no nonsense. 